Yeah, hello. Uh, it's my first video, you know, with my uh, DTF P800 experience. It's the only one I really use. So any advice I give you, I don't I mean, I'm not the, the expert of experts, but you know, I went through a lot. So I'll just kind of share what I know. So this video, we're gonna, um, this is my, this is the one I currently use right now. So it's, it's all messy and stuff like that. But we are going to um, do our best to uh, convert this P800 for a DTF printing. All right, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. And uh, yeah, let's go to the first step. Okay, so the first thing before I do anything to this beautiful machine is I need to make it chipless. So um, there is a site I go to, I don't have the, um, technology the technical savvy YouTube yet to share on my computer screen so there is a website called ink ink.net ink chip ink chip.net so simply I am going to go to the prices here if it feels like loading I go down to my um, my printer which is the p800 and it says it's charging me $60 USD. So, yeah, so I simply go and buy, go down, P800, select it. Um, I need one code, even though I should probably get two because I have another P800 here. Uh, how much is for two? Let's see. 100. Uh, I thought it was like. That you get a discount or something anyways so add it to cart um, and I will purchase it put it on my stuff and yada 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 and it will send me the prompts on how to make this machine chipless all right so I'm gonna assume that you guys went to ink chip did what you had to do get your firmware activated so you can now start you know printing you know, printing on this thing right so what I've done here now if you look this is where it gets fun these are pizza wheels so they call them you can't do DTF with these wheels or you will get the ink rubbing up against your sheet everything will look nasty and you'll be like what the heck am I doing why is this here so we got to remove these um, it's gonna feel kind of tricky at first because it feels like you're actually breaking your printer which you technically are, but not really. So I'll show you how to do one. It gets kind of tricky. So you essentially, you can't see my hand. I'm gonna try and show you. But these things here, one, two, three, all of those, you have to push them out. So I'm gonna see if I can do one here. I just touched the camera, hopefully I didn't mess up. So I'll do one. Uh, I'll kind of lift it up, get a little grip under it. Ah, click. Click means it's done. So you gotta do that in each one of them. You just gotta keep going. Yes, I'm not saying in the max here. So. Click. Ow, it even kind of hurt your hands after a while. Like I said, if you have better pointers, please tell the people. Tell me, actually. Another one, boom, and another one. So you just keep on pushing them. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do them all and I'll come back because this may take a while. All right, so a couple minutes and some blistered, uh, blistered fingers later, I think we got it. So yeah, simply once we have it all there, once we're gone, just simply. Ah, come on. Ah, there we go. Come on. Uh, one. Next one. Come on, buddy. Ah. One. Being a little stubborn here. Two. And number three, right under the print head. Ah. Oh, oh, 
All right, and uh, yeah, I got this one eventually. It was just being stubborn because it was, the, that one here is the hardest because it's behind this head thing, the print head. So I had to like kind of jam it, kick it, punch it, you know, but it eventually came out. So these are the things you got to remove. This is probably one of the harder parts um, of converting the printer. So now that we got that out the way, now it's just about loading your inks and, you know, charging it up. But for now, I am, I like to do a print head check before I do everything, just to make sure that we don't have a dud on our hands, right? So let's check it out. Yeah, so what I did, I just set up, you know, just put some paper in, you know, put some paper in here. We're gonna go here, settings, maintenance, print head nozzle check, print. Cause I had this printer sitting down for a little bit. So hopefully we're okay. Let's see. Ooh, baby, look at that. So no one can't say nothing. Look at that beautiful, perfect print head check. You know, I found the printer online, I drove about four hours to get it, and it looks like it was worth it. So now that we got out of the way, now we're coming to the point of no return. We are taking out the Epson inks. We are taking out the Epson inks. Um, and we are going to be putting in our very own inks. Now, usually what we should do, what I should do, is when I take out the Epson inks, clean it, put in my own inks, do the head check, start printing, right? But in this situation, I am not going to be using this printer yet because I am using this one already. This one is more of a backup. So I am going to um, clean it and have it sit for a while, but we're gonna show you, we're gonna show you how we do it anyway. Yeah, so there are places you can buy empty cartridges and you can buy the solution for them as well too. Let me turn this down a bit. You can buy the solution for it as well too. But me, I just mix the solution. Um, five parts water, one part Windex with ammonia. Once again, five parts water, one part Windex with ammonia and you will save yourself a whole lot of money. So, we'll just load up pre-mixed ones. Um, I'll probably make another video eventually on how to mix the, how to actually do the mixing, but this is not about that right now. So we'll just load these up. Photo black. Boom. Okay, so now that I got all that loaded up, I'm gonna close this up. See if this loads up properly. No sounds, no beeps yet. All right. So there we go. Maintenance. Now I'm gonna do some heavy head cleans to make the heavy head clean. I'm literally just cleaning out whatever ink was in there before. So that perfect nozzle check, we're getting rid of all that right now. Okay, so I've done a couple head cleans. Um, I'm gonna do another print head check now. Cause you remember how it looked last time? This is how it looked last time. Perfect, beautiful, all these colors. I don't wanna see any of that. So let's try this again. Okay, uh, print head check. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, let's check. All right. Let's see how this looks now. Can we get a proper print now? Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that properly. I'll try and adjust it. Up a bit, you can still see it just a little bit. So 
actually seen that black looking little choppy there. I don't want to see anything. So we're gonna clean it again. Okay, done. Head clean. Another heavy head clean. Head clean again. Let's do it again. I'll be right back. All right, I did a couple more head checks. I mean, um, head cleans. Now let's see how this looks now. Let's print that bad boy. We have a winner. I don't see anything. Do you? Let's turn this down a bit. Do you see anything? Get bright? No, nothing. You know, to be sure. I'll print one more. Let's see. I don't see a thing, which means this bad boy is cleaned up, good to go. We are Gucci over here. So, all I'm really gonna do is close this up, hit done, turn it up, close it and it's good for storing now. So it's always good to have an extra printer when you do a lot of printing. And I do a lot of printing with this bad boy over here. So, I mean, if you just subscribe, like, you know, comment, whatever, give me some tips and pointers as well too. And uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to my P800 journey and I'll do as many videos as I can. Um, once again, the only step missing from this one here was literally adding the ink and doing some test prints. I didn't do that because I am keeping this one for storage. And if I do that whole test print stuff, I'm gonna have to clean this bad boy thoroughly all over again. And quite frankly, I ain't trying to do that. So it's all here and I'll do some more videos in the future. Thanks and have a great, great night, day, whatever you, whatever you have to do.